2025. It depends. Ripple's in a court case right now. If they win that court case and XRP is deemed that it is not a security, you can, you can see XRP pump $25, $50 per coin. Some of y'all saying, nah, that really doesn't make sense. I looked at the Fibonacci and the Fibonacci shows that it can only do but somewhere between $8 and $10 during the bull market of 2025. I know. Let me ask you to do something. Take that Fibonacci and kick that shit down the street. Doesn't matter. If Ripple wins that court case with the SEC and Gary Gensler and it is deemed that it is not a security, you're going to be looking at a $25 to $50 XRP. Let me tell you why. It will be the only crypto on the planet Earth on paper that is deemed not a security. That means it will have an edge over Bitcoin and Ethereum, which by the way, Gary Gensler has said those aren't security, but that was just a verbal. <laughs> if you have it on paper, there is only one security in the world from the SEC and that is XRP and it's deemed not a security. You're going to be looking at a 25 to $50 XRP. You'll be wishing you bought XRP at 30 something cents and 40 cents. I'm serious about what I just said to you. You can take that little Fibonacci and toss that out the window. Now, if Ripple loses the case and it is deemed a security and they have to file some paperwork and they have to go and do all kinds of stuff or whatever, and you can't buy it in the United States right away and you can only buy it overseas, none of that matters. You'll still see an 8 to $10 XRP in 2025. How do you know that? If you can't do it in the, in the United States, then it's going to go crash down, right? going to go to zero, right? You can't buy XRP on U.S. exchanges right now. <laughs> and it's still in the top 10. XRP has been around since 2014. It survived three bear markets now, for sure. It's in a court case with the SEC and it's still in the top 10. You can't buy it on U.S. exchanges now. Can't buy it on Coinbase. Can't buy it on Binance US. Can't buy it on Crypto.com. A great video to lead with. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining me. $25 to $50 XRP price sounds pretty absurd to some people, but if you realize the asset class that cryptocurrency is, these gains are not too unrealistic. Look at this chart right here from Egrag e Crypto. He calls it the XRP generational wealth crowd. He says timing the market is like fishing in an ocean and deciding the age of the fish that you will have. That is so true. Time in the market beats timing the market. You guys can't always guess the high price and the low price, but what you can be sure of is that cryptocurrency is the highest appreciating asset class in the history of the world. And volatility, this is a great quote, volatility is the price you pay for the world's greatest asset. Volatility is the price you pay for unfathomable gains. Thank you guys for joining me. As always, we give away $10 in XRP on the channel every single day. To enter the giveaway, just like the video, subscribe and notifications on, and comment anything in the comment section below. And if you need an exchange to get XRP or other digital assets, I recommend Uphold. It's sleek, it's simple, it's secure, and it's my go-to exchange for all digital assets. Why are they trying to hide this news story, guys? So it came out from Crypto Law US. After petitioning to unseal the Hinman documents, a journalist from Forbes, Rosalind... Layton, um, she's also a professor, it looks like, and a PhD, a doctor. She says regulators aren't supposed to choose the market winners and losers. Yeah, it's hard to ignore how security laws are applied differently to Ethereum compared to Ripple. So this was just uh, about 12 hours ago now, last night. Now, if you guys go to Forbes and, and try and read this article, why the SEC treats Ripple and Ethereum differently, you will not be able to read the article. Hmm. And all this journalist was doing is trying to get the Hinman documents. The Hinman documents are the documents that relate to William Hinman, where he said in a speech when he worked for the SEC, Ethereum's not a security. Ripple had to subpoena seven times to get these documents. So think about if you're the SEC and there's nothing that's bad in these documents, then why would we not just hand them over? But six times they denied it. On the seventh time, they finally gave those documents over. Now we have journalists covering the Hinman documents in their um, articles are getting taken down. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Once they go cross-border, they look at Ripple. We know the Palmer's read re and Palmer's reiterates that SWIFT is looking into blockchain. Of course they are. Banks too. 
maybe in the future, but other areas such as trade finance and correspondent banking are areas where blockchain is more appropriate right now than real-time payments. It's good in those areas because you distribute the proof of data, but in real time, because of the speed it requires, it doesn't seem to be the right solution at the moment. He says, I didn't think anyone holding real-time payment systems in the retail space was looking at Ripple. Only once they go cross-border, cross-currency, they go to Ripple. So we have theories and people hypothesize about a future economic system where the whole world is more globalized and united. We're seeing that happen already over these past few years. And at these world government summits, in these big conferences like Davos, where policymakers and power players from all across the world come together, they talk about these ideas. So it's not like I'm just making that up. And once they go cross-border, cross-currency, they cannot not look at Ripple because the advantage that Ripple provides with XRP is undeniable. And the Ripple Managing Director gives you his outlook for what's to come in 2023. Um, I found something interesting down here. He says, 2023 will witness a greater adoption of fiat-backed stablecoins. As institutions look to realize the benefits of blockchain tech, such as real-time immersion settlement, the creation of new non-USD fiat currencies will also drive this trend. The US dollar, it is clear, is on its way out. What replaces it will be interesting. I'm excited to see. And speaking of dollars, if you guys want $40 for free, sign up with Webull, deposit a penny, you get up to $3,000 in free stocks. Typically, you'll just get 40 to 300 bucks, but it's a great offer just for signing up, depositing a penny, you're guaranteed a minimum value of $40 in free stocks. Sell your stocks, close your account, withdraw, do whatever you want, but don't miss out on this great offer. It does end soon. Link to Webull in the video description below. And guys, I have a Twitter community called the XRP Echelon. We got 24 members, and it's a space where you guys can tweet information about crypto or XRP, and it only goes to the Twitter community. It doesn't go to the rest of Twitter. So in the future, I want to start incorporating your guys' content. So if you find a good article or story or something that piqued your interest, you're someone's posting some other YouTube videos, post it in the Twitter community. Okay, the link to the Twitter community is in the video description below. You guys, I covered this probably two days ago now. Don't forget, Ripple bought 8.4 billion XRP in the past year. Why are they buying their own token? Because as the demand for the on-demand liquidity product called XRapid, as that demand increases, Ripple needs more XRP to fuel the demand. And you know how much it grew XRapid on-demand liquidity, the product that uses XRP, in the last year when there was regulatory uncertainty in a lawsuit? It grew 900%. 9x growth on XRP on demand liquidity product. And there's not even regulatory clarity. So imagine how much they're going to have to buy back, how much XRP they're going to need when that product really scales. If you guys are still listening to the video, comment X rapid in the comment section below. That means you made it to the end of the video. And every time I read an X rapid comment, I'm going to feel a little warm and cozy inside because I appreciate when you watch the full video because it really helps the channel. God bless you guys. Have a great day. Until next time.